Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn December monthly reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. So I have my deck and I have my cleansing crystal on top. So what I thought I would do is I would do it week by week. So I'm going to pull like three or four cards for each week. And then I'm going to pull an animal or animal oracle and a whispers of healing. So the first week we have the king of cups. We have the page of pentacles and we have the three of cups. So let's do four. I love it. And then we have the king of pentacles. So I feel like the energy for the first week is, I feel that emotionally, like you're feeling really happy. You're feeling really motivated. I feel like there's been a shift in your energy that you are focusing on. Like you're, because pages is young, new energy, but it's about feeling grounded and it's feeling like good and feeling positive. And especially with the three of cups, you could be, so. it could be that you're surrounding yourself with friends um, having get togethers, maybe lunches, or even just people that you hang out with at work and that you're surrounding yourself. Um, the reason why I say at work is because we have the King of Pentacles there. Um, but surrounding yourself with people that make you happy. But I also feel like your work energy feels good because we have the King of Pentacles, but it also could be that financially, like maybe something you're starting a new job or you're, you got a raise or you get a bonus or that, that there might be some money that's coming in for you. And of course you want to celebrate that, right? So it could be that you're celebrating a new job or a new opportunity or a raise or a, you know, something that comes in for you financially and you're, you want to celebrate and like you're feeling emotionally, you know, like you have no cares in the world <laughs> the first week. And um, or it could just be like your mental state and you're like, you know what? I'm feeling really positive. I'm feeling really motivated. We're getting into Capricorn season. We're getting towards, we're closing out one year. We're 2023. We're, we're walking into, we're getting towards, um, 2024 and just feeling good and feeling positive and, and feeling happy and, and feeling motivated. And I, and I love that, right? What better way to feel? All right, let's grab a animal oracle for this first week in December. We have, oh, I love it. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. And it's about being in the moment and enjoying each moment and each day for what it is, right? And it's not rushing through things. It's not looking behind you. It's about being in the moment and focusing on what is going on right now. And I feel like that brings happiness in itself. And it's like, I'm just going to enjoy today for what today is, no matter what I have to do. If I have to go to work, if I'm home relaxing, if I'm spending it with my friends, I'm just, I'm not going to worry about what I have to do tomorrow or what's coming up or what happened yesterday. It's about being in the moment and just enjoying the day for what it is. And that was definitely something, right? Not worrying about what happened before or what's to come. And then we have whispers of, of healing. And I kind of feel like it's kind of the same colors here. And we have well-being. So taking care of yourself, doing that self-care. Maybe you're treating yourself to um, something. Maybe you're buying yourself your favorite candy or your favorite meal. Or you decide to get a mani or a pedi. I know that for me, I love, I love getting my pedicures. Um, and that always makes me feel good or treating yourself to that well-being of yourself. Or it's also just saying my well-being is positive and happy because I'm just focusing on what I have going on right now that I'm not going to worry about what's to come or what I need to do um, or what has happened in the past, right? My well-being is that I have to focus on these positive things here and what I have going on and what's in my positive column, right? In my plus column, not what's in my minus column. All right, so for the second week, we have the Six of Cups. Oh, okay, good. The Five of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. I love it. another page and they're kind of connected. Oh, I love the Magician and we have the Magician. 
So I feel like the second week you're like, okay, you're starting to let things go. You're not letting things bother you. You're saying, you know what? I had such a good week the first week and I want to continue that. I want to make that a habit. I want to follow through with that. And I want to, I feel carefree. Like that's what I feel like this picture represents is feeling carefree and not letting what other people have to say bother you or affect you and kind of having that, those emotions where you feel like I'm going to, I'm going to start focusing on what makes me happy and that realizing that you are in control of your life, that you are in control of who you surround yourself with, what you surround yourself with, all of the choices that you make, that you're in control of that and you have the power to change things. You have the power to let things go and you have the power to focus on things. And I feel like the second week you're like, you know what, this really... I really took this week and I was really happy and I want to continue with that energy. So what do I need to do? What do I need to do to continue with this energy throughout the month? What are those things that I need to do to make sure that I keep myself in this energy? All right, I'm going to grab a um, animal oracle for that week. We have the moth spirit surrender now and I feel this goes right with this. Um, I feel like be here now goes with the three of cups where you're enjoying the moment and the surrender now goes with this, like surrender, like not that you're giving up or you're giving in, but you're saying, you know what? I'm not going to focus on that negativity. I'm not going to focus on what that person has to say. I'm not going to let that get to me and I'm going to let that go and I'm going to surrender what does not work for me. I'm going to surrender what works, what goes against me all right let's grab a whispers of healing for this week we have transform i love it so we have transform and then we have all of the butterflies that are transforming and change we have well-being and transform so I feel like, you know, December is really turning out to be a really, you know, good month for you. And especially some Capricorns are, are having their birthdays in this month. And it's that um, transformation, right? That transformation within yourself it's that you are magical and you are powerful. For some reason, I'm feeling like a lot of wings, like we have the hummingbird and we have the moth and then we have the owl. So freedom and birds and letting go transform transform transforming yourself right transforming your life because you are in charge of that you are in control of that all right so let's grab some cards for the next week i love it the ace of swords we have yeah empress without a doubt we have the nine of swords and then we have the emperor so with this card here with the nine of swords we have this is the face of the devil um, for the devil card. And it's not letting those old ways or that toxicity. I feel like you may be challenged the third week. I feel like you the third week you may be challenged just because we have this nine of swords here. But again, it's about are you going... Because it's almost like I feel that we're challenged to see how badly we want something, right? That if we want to change our patterns, we want to change our thoughts, we want to change what's going on around us. It's almost like we're put to the test, like, do you really want this, right? Do you really want that change? And I feel like this week here that you're going to be challenged with that. But look at this beautiful energy that you have on the opposite side of this card is the emperor and that's powerful and like overcoming a situation on the third week. Like you're overcoming a situation that maybe before it would have gotten to you and you will have fallen back into old ways. But I still feel like you're drawing from this first week and you're saying that felt so good. I don't want to fall back into that. And this third week, I feel you may be challenged and kind of seeing, okay, this is a challenge for me. So how am I going to face this challenge? Am I going to back away? Am I going to back down or am I going to stay strong and I'm going to continue evolving and, and changing? and embrace my emperor energy and my emperor power this week, right? Um, and I feel like, so this third week here, you, you may have that, that challenge. Um, but I really feel like it's kind of looking at, okay, challenge, bring it on, right? <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm not letting you get to me this week. 
Let's grab a animal oracle. We have ant spirit. Time to collaborate and putting the puzzle pieces together. Putting the puzzle pieces together and saying, okay, this is a challenge for me to see how badly I want to stay in this, this energy up here and, and, and see if I want to change, right? See if I want to change those patterns. See if I want to change things. Um, and putting the pieces together and say, okay, this is what works. This is what does. This is what doesn't work. This is what I need to do for myself. This is what I need to walk away from. This is what I need to focus on. This is what I need to let go of. Right. So we have our, because if you're transforming, you're changing. Right. You're letting go of some things, but you're also moving towards some things. We have, uh, okay, control. I like that this week. Staying in control, especially when this nine of swords happens, right? That you're going to like, are you going to let this nine of swords, this worry, this this anxiety, this stress, right? Are you going to let that control you or are you going to control that? And you're going to control definitely with the emperor because the emperor represents control too, right? Staying in control during this week. If you may be challenged or you may be tested, however that may be, that you say, you know what? I'm, I'm still going to stay focused. I'm going to stay in control of what's going on. All right. We're going to get some cards for the last week. I love it. The four of wands coming together. We have the four of cups. Interesting. Wow. Look at that. Four, four, four. The four of, no, I, I did shake up the cards. I did not set those up. We have the four of, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. The four of pentacles. Oh, and of course we have the tower. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, love this week. Four, four, four. And then we have tower. But... Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, change. Looking at new opportunities. Seeing things differently. Seeing things differently. Um, changing again. So we have the trans transform over here. And then we have the tower. And I feel like it's there's change that's coming in. Which I love this because... This is the last week in December, so it's like we're in Capricorn season and we're heading towards the new year, which is so exciting. And I feel like I feel like that is really good because it's almost like you're cleaning house at the end of December and you're starting the new year fresh and you're starting it. And that's what I feel like my readings have been is building up to this, where it's like it's building up to this tower moment where you're like, you know what, I, I'm... I'm releasing all of this stuff and I'm saying, I'm not going to let the nine of swords get to me. I mean, really the only challenge here is, is, is right here, but it's like, okay, putting the puzzle pieces together and saying, how do I handle challenges? Do I let them get to me and I back away or do I face them head on and I take control? And I feel like, I just feel like it's, I'm kind of seeing like a broom and kind of like sweeping and like, you know, the end of the year, you're like, you know what? I'm focusing on me. I'm looking at new opportunities. I have new partnerships coming in. I have new opportunities. Uh, this is could be with business. It could be with people. It could be friendships. It could be, and I'm looking at things from a different light, and I love it. And I'm, but I'm focusing on what's important to me. That I'm not going to shut down. I'm not going to go into this nine of swords. That I'm going to express myself or release that energy, however way I need to, in order to gain control. All right, let's grab a animal oracle for closing out December. I'm excited. I, wow. <laughs> Going out with a bang, right? Love it. Claim your independence. Oh, I, I love it. It's perfect. And that's what I feel like this is here, is this four of pentacles is your independence. Break yourself free from the nine of swords, right? Break yourself free. Your independence, ruling your life. Um, 
because you do you do whether you realize that or not you do rule your own life and you control your own life um sometimes we just kind of give that up but it's claiming that back right claim your independence and that's what you're doing um you're claiming your independence i love it <laughs> i love it all right and then whispers of healing we have alternative what's the alternative right if you don't make these changes, then you're going to be, I feel like it's like, if we don't learn those lessons, then I feel like we just have repeating patterns. And I just feel like you don't want to repeat this same pattern. Like you don't want to fall back into that. Like you have this taste of freedom and it's like, I don't want to be, I don't want to fall back into that. I love this month. I think it's amazing. I think that it's, I love that it's, rewarding yet it's challenging it's self-discovery it's it's powerful it's claiming your independence it's putting all the puzzle pieces together during december and looking at each situation as whether it's negative or positive as as okay like just learning something from it and not just kind of glossing over everything but kind of really taking things to heart and saying okay is is this a, this is a challenge for me to learn and to grow right and to claim my independence and i love that all right so let's grab let's grab to close it out for the month we'll grab a wisdom of the oracle and then let's grab a star dragons We have clean it up. That's so funny because that's what I was thinking of. Something about like cleaning it up with the tower, right? It's almost kind of like those same colors. And it's like cleaning, clean it up, right? What is it that needs to be cleaned up and swept out the door, right? Put in the dustpan and to throw that out, right? To open up a space for new things to come in, new opportunities to see things from a different light and a different perspective. All right, so let's grab a Star Dragons for December. Clean it up. This is the month to clean it up. But you see where you want to head, right? That you see where you want to go and where you want to be. We have tranquility, harmonious in action. That sometimes the best thing to do is to do nothing at all. But just to, to kind of soak it all in, right? To kind of just kind of really soak everything in it and see what's really going on. And then let's close it out with an angel answers for December for Capricorn. We have it's up to you. I love it. Perfect, perfect way to end this reading. It's up to you. And it's up to you how you want to see this, how you want to take this in, how you want to work through this month. Um, how you want to see this tower. Um, it's totally up to you and your mindset um, and how you want to take in this information. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. I hope you have an amazing month. Thank you again for all of your support. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.